Assalamu alaikum students, I am Zainab Fatma, your science teacher and today we will be discussing the rest part of the chapter 9. Since we have already discussed acids, now it is time to discuss the second part of our topic that is alkalis. Alkalis are the chemical opposites of acids. That means that if we add an alkali solution to an acidic solution, then they will cancel out the effect of each other and they will make water and salt. This process is called neutralization. It is called neutralization because if we test the pH of this solution that is containing an alkali and acid at the same time, the pH will be 7. Now let's discuss what are the properties of alkalis. They taste bitter, they are water soluble, they are corrosive, they are water soluble and corrosive like acids. They are soapy to touch. By discussing that they are soapy to touch, it is understood that it is mostly used for cleaning purposes. It, is, it has a pH greater than 7 and they are electrolytes. I have already discussed in the previous lecture that electrolyte is something that conducts electricity and a solution that has ions will conduct electricity. In case of alkali solution, the ions are hydroxyl ions. OH negative. Now let's move on and discuss some examples for better understanding. So the first example is sodium hydroxide. Now to make it precise, I will be discussing the industrial uses along. Sodium hydroxide named as caustic soda with the formula NaOH is used to make soap. How? Animal fat or vegetable oil is boiled with NaOH. Now the animal, the fat obtained from any source, either from animals or from plants. It is boiled with NaOH, sodium hydroxide solution and as a result we get sodium citrate. Sodium citrate is the most important and the basic ingredient of soap. Hence, like I said, since it has a soapy texture, it will be used for cleaning purposes mostly. Moving on to our other uses. Well, the second use is that it is used to clean ovens. Now, what sort of stains can we find on an oven? Obviously, the stains from food like fat and oil. Now these stains can easily be cleaned with alkalis. How? Since sodium hydroxide reacts with fat and oil, it makes it easy for us to get rid of these stains with less effort and less amount of time. The third use is in the manufacture of paper. One important step in manufacturing of paper is the removal of resin from wood pulp and sodium hydroxide called NaOH can help in removal of a resin from wood pulp. Now let's move on to our second example. Well, the second example is ammonium hydroxide, also called ammonia with the formula NH3. Let me read out the significance of ammonia for you. It is used as a cleaning agent, it is used in making sanitizers, it is used in the manufacture of plastic and rubber and it is a part of most of the fertilizers. Now why is ammonia used in cleaning purposes mostly? One reason is its reaction with fat and oil, I get it, but it also helps in killing germs. But not itself. Ammonia itself does not kill microorganisms but it is a significant part of QACs that we called the quaternary ammonia compounds. These compounds are disinfectants and they can kill microorganisms including mold, bacteria and viruses. Other than that, it is also used as a fertilizer. It may not increase the nutrient content of soil, but it can protect our plants from most microorganisms. Well, let's move on to our third and last example.
So, so discussing the third example of alkalis that is calcium hydroxide that we commonly call lime with the formula CaOH. This is the last example and it has the most significance. Let me read it out the significance for you. It is used in making lime water, it is used in the manufacturing of paper, it is used for sewage treatments, it is used in dental procedures and for the purpose of construction. Coming towards the first point, lime water. What is lime water? It is used in the laboratories and labs to detect the presence of carbon dioxide. Well, when carbon dioxide bubbles into this water, it turns milky, detecting its presence. Second is the manufacturing of paper. The most important ingredient in the paper is the PCC, the precipitated calcium carbonate. It ensures the whiteness of paper, its filling is fine and the opacity levels and that is made from CaOH that we call calcium hydroxide. For the purpose it is used for sewage treatment, dental procedures like root canal filling and construction purposes for example the step of whitewashing. All these three points have the same logic. Calcium hydroxide combines with the carbon dioxide present in its environment and makes CaCO3 called the calcium carbonate. It makes a hard and strong wall coating, also a wall coating and also a root canal filling and it can also make the inner walls of our sewage pipes. Well now we have done discussing the last example and also we have ended the second part of our chapter 9 that was alkalis. I hope you have understood it well. Thank you.